Hey, good morning. Uh, we're going to have a couple of parts to this video. First is going to be an update while I'm babbling on here. And uh, then I'll uh, skip to the echo uh, chainsaw part. Uh, so it'll be chaptered so you can skip ahead of all you're uh, looking for is the echo uh, stuff. So first things first, I've been outside uh, cleaning up uh, along the driveway, all of those trees that were dropped. And I'm going to put uh, footage in here so you can see or kind of remember of what happened i had there were three uh dead trees taken down along the driveway a lot of them were sort of punky on the outside from the the fungus the oak fungus stuff that kills them um so that cut down on the amount of usable wood that was there uh, but there's still a lot of really good oak in those logs so i've been cleaning those up i didn't set the camera up out along the driveway uh, just because it's tight and you're turning around of just kind of a hard thing to film. Uh, so I'm just showing you a little bit of footage here of uh, the cleanup just from the uh, one kind of poorly positioned uh, security cam that uh, I uh, have in that particular area. So that's what I've been doing. I've been splitting, uh, trying to stock up uh, on wood before it gets warm because uh, splitting in, you know, 90 degree humidity is not uh fun so uh this video is uh so this is the first part of the video just kind of giving you that uh update oh and then here's the other video uh the pool i found use number i'm calling it use number 96 for the uh, massey uh, tractor uh which is uh moving the pool cover back to the pool shed much better than picking it up by hand or dragging it along the ground on a tarp or whatever uh, so the Massey's working great, picking up huge logs with that thing. Um, I kind of wish I had a carry-all on the back to roll logs onto, so I'm sort of looking at options there. Uh, but picking up the logs, moving them with the pallet forks, everything's just working out great. So that's it as far as the update. It's raining today. That's why I'm inside making this uh, intro. I'm going to cut now to the um, and wrap up with the Echo Chainsaw video, just showing a neat little uh, aspect of the Echo uh, that has turned out to be working pretty good for me. And by the way, the Echo is all I have used to buck all these logs, nothing but the Echo. Uh, that thing is a beast. So, all right, so I'll cut now. Thanks for watching, guys. You see these logs here uh, behind me along the driveway. I've cleaned up most of them with the Echo cordless chainsaw working out great by the way i've even gotten to the point where i flipped the bar uh, i also ruined the first chain i'll put a picture in here uh in a moment showing uh, the bent teeth from where i hit the nail and i've sharpened it a couple times with the dremel and it's still chugging along i mean it's still cutting really good but there's two things i want to show you today uh about the saw that i love number one is it seems like it's easier to sharpen than my craftsman chain and i'm going to paste some pictures in here showing you some of the specs of each chain and two it's easier to course correct your cut as you go down through the log with the craftsman uh, ch uh chainsaw 20 inch chainsaw if it gets cut and crooked that's it game over it just makes a crooked cut with this one you can it's a, uh, a first of all it's a low profile chain it's also a more narrow bar so you can sort of do that as you get down through it now i'm going to show you that here in the in the video so i kind of like both both of those uh aspects about this this chainsaw Okay, so there's the cut. I think that'll show up on camera. So I did that on purpose. I can down through it. And you can see I angled that way and then I started straightening it back out. And that's just how this, this low profile thin, uh, low profile chain with the thin bar, that's just how it is. Uh, I kind of like it. I mean, like I say, I did that on purpose in a normal cut. Just let the saw, you know, take you straight down through the cut. It's not a problem. You could probably hear the chain 
bogging down a little bit as I twisted the bar and going down through that. But uh, yeah, just another thing uh, about the echo chainsaw.